morning and welcome back to my channel. I am up and at them this morning. I have gotten myself ready for the day. I still need coffee, so our first stop is definitely going to be Starbucks and I am so looking forward to it. I cannot wait to have some coffee and I just have a full day ahead of me. I need to do so much Christmas shopping, y'all. I'm so behind. Like I literally pretty much still have to get almost everything it is so bad so anyway i am hoping that i can find some christmas presents while we're out and about today i'm also having my sister's bridal shower here in my house this week so i need to get like a few things for that as far as like food and maybe even a couple of decorations if i can find any and all kinds of other things like when i tell y'all that my week is jam-packed it is like insanity so anyway i was like might as well spend the day together getting all of the things done so first things first let's go get some coffee okay so i got my coffee i just made it to tj maxx i waited all morning for this coffee and it was so worth the wait it's so delicious um i need to run into tj maxx and i'm actually grabbing something for my sister from my mom. And then it's so funny because I'm actually going in there to try and find my sister's Christmas present. So it just so happened to work out that way. Um, and then I can't decide if I need to go to Target or not. I'll probably run in there just because. <laughs> um, and then I know I need to go to Walmart and just get a few things. So Abigail gets married on Saturday. Thursday, we're having like the bridesmaids brunch at my house. And I'm thinking of doing like a big yogurt parfait bar with like fruit and granola and all of that and then i'm gonna make like the little sausage muffins that y'all know i love those will be really easy and i think everybody will like them and then um i mentioned this in like my last video you all probably saw bucky and i made the most delicious potatoes on the blackstone last weekend and so i want to try and make those as well and i think that'll be enough for everybody and then we'll do like orange juice mimosas maybe i don't know anyway i think it's gonna be so fun but i gotta get all the stuff for that hopefully i can find like a few decorations as well and then um where else i need to go sam's club all kinds of places so anyways let me run in here see if i can find okay, what so i'm I need. currently standing outside of my car my mom wanted me to get this mirror for my sister and it literally won't fit <laughs> so i'm sitting here drinking my coffee and she is driving here with her car to put it in there because i cannot leave until she comes and gets this <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, I really thought it was going to fit, but clearly it will not. To the rescue. <laughs> okay, hopefully you all can see me. You can't see me. Okay, hang on. I'll tell you in a second. Goodness, my mom came and got that and was like she just happened to be driving down the interstate and was like at the exit that I was because I was like oh my gosh Bunky is on calls all day like I don't think he's gonna be able to come get this and I was like I'm gonna be sitting here for forever but that worked out perfect and then she was like do you want to go to Dillard's with me because they had an incredible sale on shoes so like near us we have a big Dillard's outlet and it was buy one pair of shoes get two free and I needed a pair of shoes for the wedding because all of like my black shoes were either open toe or like a heel that wouldn't be comfortable to stand in plus we're gonna be like at the farm so I didn't want to like sink into the ground so I was like yes let's go to Dillard so I got three pairs of shoes they are so cute two of them are for summer like next summer but I'll show them to you whenever I get home and mom was at Trader Joe's at like eight o'clock this morning um I know I've told you guys before but um she's a florist so of course she's doing all the flowers for Abigail's wedding as well as like a couple of her best friends are gonna do it with her. But anyway, she was in Charlotte this morning like picking up flowers and then she went by Trader Joe's and I called her and I'm like, do not leave Trader Joe's without getting me another container of that snack bar mix. So hallelujah, I have another one. I was like, thank you so much, mom. That stuff is amazing. Like we cannot eat enough of it. So anywho, I went to Dillard's, got the shoes, got this, got the mirror situated. <laughs> and now I am going to head, I think to Sam's Club and then Walmart and then home. 
I may go to both places. I don't know yet. I'm kind of getting hungry. <laughs> it's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is So I'm home now. I actually got here a little bit ago. I stopped and got Bunky and I some lunch. I never ended up going to Walmart, mainly because I got hungry and then Bunky called me and he's like, I'm super hungry. Do you want to stop and get us some lunch? I was like, yes. Plus, I'm pretty sure I have like everything I need for the brunch. I got the two main things that I needed at Sam's Club, so that worked out perfect. So I'll show you what I got at Sam's. It's literally just a few things. And then um, I'll show you the shoes that I got from Dillard's. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. What a good deal. Buy one, get two free. And they're already clearance. So it was like the greatest deal ever. So like I told y'all, I didn't get too many things at Sam's Club. They actually had toilet paper and paper towels. Finally, they've been sold out. So I did get both of those. They're still in the car. And then I also picked up our favorite chips. We love these thin ones. And I got another one of these big packages of the Jimmy Dean sausage. This is like the second or third time I've gotten this big package and it has been incredible. And since I'm making the, um, sausage muffins for the brunch. I was like, this will be perfect. And then I'll have a little bit left over for like other recipes. And then these are the potatoes that I ended up finding for the brunch as well. And it's a mixture. So it's like little baby gold or yellow potatoes and then little baby red potatoes. So I thought those would be really pretty and perfect for our brunch. So like these two things were the main things I went in there looking for. So I'm so glad that I found them. And then I could not leave without getting this jumpsuit. It was just such a great price. And I love these colors. They had it in a couple different colors but ten dollars for the top and ten dollars for the bottom and this would make a great gift and then i got some um heavy cream and of course bunky his gum so like i said not very many things but so happy that i found these two and now let me show you my shoes Okay, so here are my shoes. Are these not so cute? These, of course, are the ones that I got for the wedding. And I have, obviously, like a couple pairs of black heels that I could have worn. But they're all open toe. And since it's going to be outside and it's obviously winter, I really wanted something closed toe. And I wanted something with like a chunkier heel so I wasn't like sinking into the ground. So these will be perfect. And look how cute this little bow is on the back. So I thought these were precious. They're very comfortable to stand in. These were originally $80. They were $28, but I got all three of these for $34. Like, it is the best deal ever if you ask me and then these i just love the color of them they have the tiniest little platform back there and anything with like this strap around your ankle and then this strap over your toes i think it just like elongates your legs and makes them look really long and i need all the length i can get um so i got these for summertime and then these have that same effect so this little strap around the ankle and this one over your toes but these have a fun little wedge on there not too big so they're still like comfortable and easy to walk in and then of course you guys know the leopard I had to these were originally 98 and they were on sale for $34 so all of these for 34 bucks like I just I love them I'm so excited about them so I'll go put these in my closet and store them away until warmer weather I've been looking forward to tonight's dinner all day long I am so excited Bunky and I are gonna make a pan seared steak over a Caesar salad and I know I've told you guys before I love a Caesar salad and you already know how much I love steak and Bunky saw this recipe somewhere where he, like they combine the two and I said that sounds so good let's do it we're gonna add some avocado and some bacon to our salads so i think it's going to be amazing and fun fact it is very cold outside so it's kind of hard to grill right now and bunky and i recently got a cast iron skillet 
there's the oven. <laughs> we recently got a cast iron skillet and we have like always seen how people make like the pan seared steak with like the butter and rosemary and garlic and I have always thought that sounded so good. So we're gonna try it out and I'm so excited to do that. But first, I do wanna thank Crowd Cow for sponsoring today's video. That is where I got our delicious steak for tonight. It was delivered straight to our door. I had so much fun looking on their website and shopping all of their high quality meats. They have chicken, pork, beef, seafood, all kinds of really fun things. So let me show you what I got in my box. So I got a filet, some ribs, chicken, we got some bacon, as well as a ribeye, which is what we're going to use today. And if you are wondering what is Crowd Cow, they are a marketplace for high quality meats and they create a more meaningful connection between the farmer and the customer. That way you can appreciate and know exactly where your food comes from. And not only is it higher quality, but it tastes better and is better for your family. And like I was saying, Crowd Cow has so many different meats to choose from. So you just go online, explore and shop, and then each cut is vacuum sealed, frozen at the peak of freshness, and substantially shipped directly to your door. You can also join the herd, become a member for free, and get perks like 5% off and free shipping over $99. And I just love that I am getting a better quality meat and supporting farmers that are doing it the right way. This steak tastes so different than anything I've ever gotten in a grocery store, and that is because all of their meat has no growth hormones or unnecessary antibiotics you can buy meat that is grass-fed pasture-raised or wild-caught and you can seriously taste the difference click my link in the description box below to get $15 off your first order you can also save an extra 5% off everything you put into your box when you become a member which is always the best deal click my link and your membership is free Okay, so first things first is we need to get this steak into the oven. We're going to go ahead and let it kind of cook for about 20-30 minutes before we pan sear it. And I have it on 250 degrees. Bunky wants it on 200 degrees, but I think 250 is fine. So we're going to let it go ahead and kind of cook in the center. And then that way whenever we pull it out, it'll still be that like medium, medium rare. We'll sear it on both sides and it should be perfect. Oh my gosh, my mouth is literally watering and this steak just looks so good. And then I also need to get our bacon, just a few pieces, fried up so we can crumble that over top of our salad as well. Okay, so we're gonna pop this into the oven. It's at 250 and we'll let it sit in here for about 20 to 25 minutes. What are you doing to our bacon? I flipped the tails up because they were getting real done, but the, the big part is the front was. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's really done in general, so let's get her out of there. Okay, so bacon is done, steak is in the oven, but it is done and ready to come out. So we're gonna get our cast iron skillet nice and hot before we put it in there, and then we'll add like our butter and garlic and rosemary and all of that fun stuff. Switcheroo here. Yes, please. Okay, we can't touch that. Okay. We can burn our hands. Okay, so the steak is out of the oven. Bunky's gonna put about three tablespoons of canola oil down in our cast iron skillet. And then I gotta get our um, butter, rosemary, and garlic situated. Because we're basically only gonna sear this on each side for about 30 to 45 seconds. And then we're gonna baste it in some delicious garlic, Goodness. rosemary, Oh my gosh, flavor. I cannot wait. Saying how many tablespoons be? That's it. Oh, uh, like three. I just use all that. Let's use the whole thing. Yeah, go ahead and cut it up in a little. Uh, yeah. Hats or pads? <laughs> just, I think just half because it's going to melt so fast. You don't want it to like burn. True. Right. Bacon looks so good. We took a bite because we couldn't contain ourselves. Who can? <laughs> okay, this seems pretty hot. Are we ready to go? Let me, uh, Let's, uh, yeah, we're, get, we're starting to get a little smoke there. I am so excited for this. I honestly have wanted to do this for such a long time. Okay, let's give it the old, uh, 
Oh, it's smoking. Yeah, it's ready to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Right. We're ready. <laughs> All right. All right, Bonky. I everything on standby. Like it's go time. Okay. You got 30 seconds on each side. All right, which side do you want down first? It doesn't matter. All right, you ready? Yeah, one, two, three, go. Tell you what, I'm just gonna eat that garlic by itself. <laughs> yeah. Add it to our salad or something. Mm. Are right, you ready to give her a flip? Yep. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. And now I'm gonna put this stuff up here. Oh, well, I'll get a spoon back. feeling this is going to be the best steak we've ever eaten. It might be. And I'm like, I just want to do all of our steaks like this now. I'm telling you, I, I wanted, we've been, how long have we been wanting to try this? We've been this? saying this for like, probably two years. Because we see, we see people cook stuff like this and then put it in the oven all the time. Look how good that butter is like foaming up. I wish I had some potatoes and I would drizzle all of that buttery goodness over top of some potatoes. Yeah. But here we are trying to be a little healthier. <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> no, tis the season would be to have it with potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and eat this bacon. <laughs> Bucky's gonna go ahead and chop it up for our salad. And then I went ahead and wash our romaine and we're gonna chop that up as well. How in the world am I supposed to chop this up? <laughs> I, I feel like I should chop up the lettuce. Okay. Because yeah. I have a specific way of like how I want it. Because you know, I like my lettuce to be particularly. Particularly. <laughs> particularly chopped. Chopped. Okay, so I'm going to chop off these tips. If you want the tips, you can have them. But that's like my least favorite part. Okay, I'll, I'll take that part. Okay, we'll re chop these here in a second. Okay. I feel like you need a bigger knife. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. It looks so green and leafy. Okay, and then I like mine like almost like very thin little shreds. Ah, uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, now I know why you were saying you wanted to do it yourself. And down Whoa. here towards the bottom, I love like all the crunchiness. That's my favorite part. What about this guy? I know, he's just like out here in my hand. Okay, now, this is a ton of salad, babe. We're gonna, we can save some and have like a salad tomorrow. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna take all of this and I'm just gonna like roughly run it through that way. Run it through. We need a, a bigger knife and a bigger cutting board. I suggested a bigger knife, Bunky, <laughs> but don't worry about my opinion. Gosh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, the moment of truth has arrived. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. I cannot wait any longer, so please. Do we want like a slight angle? A slight angle against the grain. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, monkey, it is perfect. Is that a good thickness there for you? Perfect, yes. Okay, y'all, I cannot get over. First of all, this is beautiful. Second of all, I totally snuck a bite of this steak and the flavor is absolutely amazing. You can totally taste that garlic and rosemary and then it's like that buttery goodness. Oh my gosh, 
I think this may be a new favorite in the Bunky household. We are both like so excited to go dive into this yummy salad. So after dinner, we took a little drive around our neighborhood to look at all of the Christmas lights. And we've been doing this a couple nights a week and it is just so much fun. All of the lights are beautiful and everyone in our neighborhood seriously went all out this year. So it makes it even more magical. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love you so very much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.